At a time when the Indian government is considering the acquisition of a long-range unmanned aerial vehicle with strike capabilities, that will be developed by an Indian private sector firm in partnership with an Israeli defense manufacturer, the Israeli government has tasked its domestic drone manufacturers to develop longer-range higher-speed armed UAVs, and at least three such armed UAVs are now in different development stages. India should collaborate with Israel, as the global demand for armed UAVs is increasing, and the new Israeli armed drones will have longer endurance, special weapon systems, aerial refueling, as well as lower signature. <laughs> Delhi-based private sector firm Time Tooth Technologies Private Limited has tied up with the DRDO to collaborate on the development of a powered military exoskeleton under DRDO's Technology Development Fund scheme. The powered exoskeleton will use lightweight materials, hybrid actuation technologies, and an efficient battery system, and will enhance the soldier's additional load carrying capacity by 100 kg, to carry heavy loads like artillery rounds. The powered exoskeleton will have a minimum of 8 hours of operational time, and 5 hours of battery backup. The Indian Army has released a tender for the procurement of 100 logistic drones of medium altitude heavy weight category, that will be procured through fast track procedure and under the by Indian category. It must have at least 50% indigenous content, day and night camera, mission range of above 10 km, endurance of more than 30 minutes and must be able to carry a payload of 40 kg. It must feature fully autonomous mode, manual mode and return to home mode, and must be operable at minus 10 degrees Celsius. The Indian Army's Training Command has signed a Memorandum of Understanding with Rashtriya Raksya University, to develop a war game research and development center in New Delhi. It will be a first of its kind simulation-based training center in India, that will use artificial intelligence to design virtual reality war games, and will train Indian Army soldiers, and test their strategies through metaverse-enabled gameplay. Sagar Defense Engineering is developing autonomous swarming underwater drones for countermine operations. It is equipped with advanced image processing and artificial intelligence capabilities to deliver a payload of 7 kg in the seabed at a minimum depth of 16 meters. The autonomous swarming underwater drones will have the intelligence to detect underwater mines, and coordinate the delivery of the payload on the mines. Private sector firm Aerosense Technologies has developed a naval shipborne unmanned system that weighs only 25 kilograms and runs on petrol. It has a range of 200 kilometers, an endurance of 8 hours, and its payload is a radar and gimbal stabilized day and night camera. It works on auto flight mode, first person view mode, and also loiter mode, in which it automatically maintains the current location heading and altitude. Chennai-based Garuda Aerospace has secured $5 million in funding from a large infra-development company, to build drones for armed forces. Garuda Aerospace had recently unveiled its Vajra Stealth drone, that will be powered by HAL-developed PTAE-7 turbojet engine, and Lockheed Martin Canada CDL systems will provide advanced uncrewed aerial system software solutions for the program. The seventh edition of the bilateral Garuda air exercise between the Indian Air Force and the French Air Force concluded yesterday, on which officials have said, that the aircrew of both the Air Forces practiced aerial refueling from a 330 multi-role tanker transport during the air exercise. Interestingly, India is in advanced negotiations with the French government to lease one A330 refueler for the Indian Air Force for training purposes, that is likely to be succeeded by the lease of five additional A330 tankers to augment the reach and combat capability of Indian fighter jets.